Whiskey here with Orient Outdoors Company and today I'm super excited to share with you a unique review on one of the most innovative shotguns ever made, the Cosme Shotgun. I'd like to start this review with a little bit of history on Cosme shotguns. Cosme is an Italian manufacturer of shotguns. It was formed in the late 1800s by Rudolfo Cosme. And it was in 1925 that Rudolfo, a gunsmith, uh, innovator, and craftsman, brought to life uh, the first Cosme shotgun, which is the Cosme Brake Action Semi-Automatic. Uh, Cosme to this day has been around for obviously over 100 years, and they continue to make probably the most beautiful, and innovative shotguns in the world. They are imported in the United States by Nighthawk Custom Pistols, uh, which offers uh, and manufactures in the US uh, the world's best 1911 and 2011 pistols. Uh, it's a very good combination uh, to have Nighthawk as the best pistol and Cosme, uh, a renowned manufacturer of shotguns in the same location and serviced by the same gunsmen. Let's get into the nitty gritty of the Cosme shotgun and we'll get to take a look at why it is the most innovative and beautiful shotgun in the industry today. So Cosby makes a few different types of shotguns. This one is probably the one that they are renowned for. This is the Cosme semi-automatic brake action. Yes, that means brake action as in it opens like an over and under. The way that this gun operates is unlike any other gun on the market. Even though this particular gun was been in manufacture for over 100 years, it remains uh, one of the most modern, elegant, and innovative semi-automatics on the market today. Let's take a look at this gun, uh, starting with the stock. The all, all Cosme shotguns are hand configured, hand picked, and hand crafted. This stock is a Circassian walnut stock or a Turkish walnut stock. At the end, uh, we have a small flathead screw head uh, which is for the stock bolt, which is what attaches the stock to the receiver. Uh, the stock has a taper drop and a very unique diamond-shaped checkering, which is super fine and done by hand. As we move forward, uh, we have a pistol grip here, uh, which is kind of a modified style field slash boarding pistol grip. And we have the trigger blade and trigger assembly. On the top, we have the top lever, as well as the, the safety. The top lever, being that it's on a semi-automatic, is truly unique. Uh, there really has been uh, no guns that operate similarly to this and have lasted any bit lo as long as this gun. There's been a few people that have attempted to build a brake action semi-automatic. Uh, none of them were effective in that they made guns that would actually last and, and be durable. This gun is the exception. It's been around for over 100 years. Uh, with little to no issues whatsoever. As we move forward, we have the very, very unique receiver. Uh, the Cosme shotgun has a unique receiver uh, just because it is a brake action. It kind of has the overall styling of a semi-automatic uh, because, it, because it breaks open, it's a little bit different. All of the parts inside of the receiver are hand polished, hand fit, and made out of a solid block of steel. That's every single part in this gun a solid block of steel. It takes a lot of time to do that. Uh, some estimates uh, from the Cosme shop suggest that it takes an upwards of 400 hours to make each individual Cosme shotgun. That is a lot of time, and one of the reasons why these shotguns come with a pretty hefty price tag. Uh, as we look forward, this one has some, some very subtle engraving. We have some, uh, some Gothic scroll style engraving on the side, very, very subtle. And then we have a game scene with some more scroll work on the bottom. This game scene happens to be a pair of ducks. We have in the barrel portion of the gun, the bolt. This bolt is actuated by a lever. So we can just pull this lever up and the bolt will open. Push the bolt down and the bolt will close. 
This reduces the, the requirement to have a extended bolt uh, lever or knob on the exterior of the gun. So why did they do that? They did it because they could. They did it because they wanted this Cosby shotgun to be super sleek, super slender, and unlike any other semi-automatic on the market. And that still remains true today, which is just crazy to think about. Moving forward, and we'll take a little bit of a closer look at the internals a little bit later, we have the forend. Uh, this forend is a very slim and very unique in its shaping. There is a recoil spring under here, but there is not a magazine tube. Yes, a semi-auto that does not have a magazine tube under the forend. So where did the magazine tube go? Does this, shell hold, does this gun hold more than one or two shells? Well, of course it does. It has a tubular magazine back into the stock, kind of similar to like a Browning SA-22. In 12 bore, this magazine tube will hold five rounds plus one in the chamber. It also has a cutoff button uh, that can be restrict the magazine capacity to just two so that you can use this gun for migratory birds, uh, waterfowl, etc., both here in the United States and overseas. Kind of moving back into the, the, the forend that we just spoke about, it's got some very unique shaping. We have some line cut checkering here and some grid cut checkering on the bottom, all done by hand. And it kind of has a beaver tail type feel where the bottom of it is super, super slender and it gets a little bit wider at the top. Moving forward some more on this gun, we have a screw type mechanism uh, that will be used to remove the forend from the gun. We have a ramp style rib, uh, with the, which is ventilated. And then we have, in this particular model, a Briley choked flush barrel. The barrel is also made out of a solid block of steel, just like all the parts in the receiver and the mechanism inside the trigger. Now we'd like to take the time to disassemble this gun uh, to kind of get a feel for how a semi-automatic can come apart and look very similar to an over and under. Boring comes off, and now we have the exposed uh, recoil spring. And then I will open the top lever and remove the barrel. So the Cosme brake action semi-automatic, just like an over and under, comes apart in three pieces. We have the barrel mechanism, we have the forend, and we have a stock receiver. Taking a little bit closer look at the receiver now, uh, you can get an even better view of the hand polished parts. We have the, the magazine, which is here. We have our hammer, which is here. Hammer is uncocked, now it is cocked. And then we have our uh, release here, which is only necessary when you desire to put one round directly into the chamber after the gun's fully unloaded. It kind of operates like a Browning A5, where once the gun is completely unloaded, you can just shove uh, one shell into uh, the chamber and close it and you're ready to go. You can also open up the brake action at any point and add more mag uh, shells to the magazine as you desire uh, or as you need uh, while you're hunting or clay target shooting. We have here the barrel mechanism, uh, which is very, very simple and very well designed. Uh, we have our bolt inside of the barrel mechanism. Uh, the bolt is brought back with this lever here and the bolt can be closed just simply by pushing it forward. Super, super simple. I will note uh, this gun has a lot of unique characteristics and a few of them aren't the most functional. That is one of the parts of the gun that though it is extremely unique and very, very cool, uh, it is, takes a little bit longer to load this gun just based on the fact that you need to actuate this lever to bring the bolt back and then close it manually. And now I think would be an exceptional time uh, to take this gun out into the field and see how it shoots, see how it patterns on some really long and tough targets, and see how it balances. Uh, because like I mentioned earlier, uh, Rudolfo Cosme designed this gun specifically uh, for the way that it pointed and balanced and felt. He wanted it to be a gun uh, that could be used and that it would be handled like one of the best shotguns ever made. And I would love the opportunity to go check that out and share the feedback with you guys. To get a feel for how the Cosme brake action shotgun shoots, uh, we're gonna shoot an incomer. We're gonna start off at about 25 yards 
And then we're going to step back 10 yards every time after we break it uh, so that we can kind of see what kind of range we can get out of the Cosme brake action semi-auto. For your purposes, we have a cone here that's going to show where we started from. So we got a little 25, 30 yard shot we'll start off with. So now we're at about 45 yards. Pull. Pull. So now we're at about 65 yards. Uh, we're far enough back now uh, where the camera may not pick up the clay target in the background. Let's see how it shoots. Pull. Got hold of that one. Pull. Two in a row. Let's move back a little bit more. Pull. And I guess it's on if I hit it on the first shot? Yeah. Pull. Nope. Pull. There we go. Ooh, that was a lot of lead. I hit the 130 yard shot with the Cosme one time on the way up. It's crazy, from this angle, the trajectory varies way more than you would think. It's coming up in between those two trees, but sometimes it hugs the left side, sometimes it hugs the right side. For the heck of it, let's just try one more. We're way back. Pull! So now we're at the farthest we came back. It's about 130 yards. Let's just take a walk up to where we started to see how big of a difference and how far away we truly are. Got a little elevation change here. So we're getting some distance in the vertical plane. And this is where we started, kind of out of breath already from that long walk we just had. And our target that we're shooting is coming out by that rock, which is about 45, 50 yards from us, landing at about 30 yards from us right now. We just came in from shooting over 100 rounds uh, with a Cosme shotgun, and that target's over 100 yards away. And believe it or not, the Cosme can crush clays. Uh, the 100 plus yard shots were testing my abilities a little bit. I definitely did a little bit of missing at the, the farther yardages. Uh, up close in your typical competition style targets, uh, no issues with the Cosme. Uh, it's just an awesome gun to shoot. It was really fun. I, I've never shot as many rounds through a demo ever, uh, just because I just wanted to pull the trigger again. It's like addicting with this thing. Uh, I like to go over some pros and cons like we do with every video. Uh, the number one pro of this shotgun is just how unique and awesome it is. It doesn't matter if you're shooting with someone who's never shot before, or if you're with a guys uh, or some guys that have a fine gun collection of 100 or more guns. If you take this gun out, they're gonna be amazed. The wow factor when you take this gun out and open this gun is always there. And I don't think it'll ever go away. It's been over 100 years and still no one has perfected the brake action semi-auto like Cosme. The second pro that I'd like to talk about is the balance and pointability of this shotgun. 
it balances and points like a fine over and under. Uh, I've never been more comfortable with a semi-auto than with this one. The way that it balances in your hands, how it comes up, it's just effortless. It's a really nice handling and pointing gun. And the last thing that I'd like to talk about is how practical this is for different uses. A lot of people will say, that gun is just not practical. But believe it or not, I think it is. Though it is a very expensive shotgun, and out of a lot of people's price points, this is a gun that you can use to hunt with. This is a gun that you can use to target shoot with. And both of them, you can do them uh, effectively. It'll hold three rounds with, with the uh, restrictor. It'll hold six rounds without it. You can hunt pretty much all species of birds with this gun. It's available in 12, 20, 28, and 410 bore. It's really the best of both worlds when it comes to trying to merge the best benefits of an over and under with the best benefits of a semi-automatic. Now we'll kind of move on to some of the cons. Now the biggest con of this gun, in my opinion, is just that it's a little bit tricky to load. Uh, the loading mechanism with the bolt is a little bit cumbersome from someone who's used to traditional semi-autos and over-unders. I got used to it really quickly, and by the end of our shooting, it wasn't a problem. Uh, but operating the bolt is a little bit challenging. Uh, putting the, the shells in the magazine is effortless. Uh, number two is the wood butt pad. Uh, the wood butt pad is traditional of pretty much every fine bespoke British gun. Uh, it just showcases the craftsmanship of the stock maker. Uh, from a functional perspective, uh, a rubber recoil pad would probably be more beneficial, especially for me. Uh, I like the rubber recoil pad both from a, a comfort perspective and from just a perspective of, you know, putting it on a rack at the gun shop. Uh, you don't have to worry about it twisting or moving on you. A lot of times you, if you put a wood butt pad on a wood shelf, it'll just move a little bit. It's nice to not have to worry about that with a rubber recoil pad. All in all, the Cosme shotgun is a gun that any serious collector should have. Uh, it's beautiful, it's sexy, it's just, it's a one-of-a-kind semi-automatic uh, that no one else could, pop, you know, has ever tried to re replicate. I think that's because it's just such a challenge, uh, you know, in, in wanting or desiring to put 400 or more hours into one shotgun. That's what Cosme does, that's what they've always did, and that's what they're always going to do. I want to say a special thanks to Nighthawk Custom Pistols. Uh, for shipping us this demo uh, so that we could shoot and review the, the Cosme shotgun. Uh, this is the first time that I've ever shot a Cosme, and I would uh, beg to guess that most of the viewers on this video have probably never shot one either. Uh, so this is a great opportunity for you to learn more about the gun, uh, see how it works in action uh, before you go to the store to pick one up. Uh, and I also want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. That really means a lot to us uh, that you watch our channel. Uh, we really also appreciate it if you like and subscribe. And that way we can continue uh, to make and grow our content. Uh, thank you very much and have a great day.